Ah! Well, hello. Welcome back to the break. Let's see if we can't figure out what happened in the world MMA this week, huh? Hey, UFC 228. That actually turned out to be a really fun fight card. Had a bunch of finishes, the same freaky submission twice. Ah! Some people almost got their heads knocked off. And then Tyron Woodley, the and still welterweight champ, is the and new black belt. And honestly, it's really great to go back and take a look at his face when he gets his black belt from Dean Thomas there. Because it's like, yeah, defend the UFC welterweight title. Big hunk of leather and gold. Already had one of those, big deal. But wait, thin strip of black fabric. Joyous day. It's a good reminder, actually, that it's not really about the thing, it's about what the thing represents. Then there's Nico Montano, who got stripped of her UFC women's flyweight title. If you're keeping track, that's now a full 50% of the women's divisions in the UFC, where the inaugural champ got the belt yanked away before she ever got a chance to defend it. But that's alright, I mean, if history is any indicator, Montano can bounce back from this. Just look at Jermaine Durand to me, who has not, has not fought since then. Oh boy. People did get fired up about Tyron Woodley's win, though. I mean, look at Snoop Dogg. He was watching, then he took to Instagram and- Yeah, the gorilla that ran up on King Kong, Tyron Woodley. Beat his <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump, beat his mother ass. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump, <laughs> Beat his <laughs> for all the <laughs> out there, cub. Whoop this mother Maybe Snoop Dogg thought that Darren Till was Colby Covington? Either that, or he sees any white MMA fighter of any nationality and thinks, this guy's probably a Trump supporter. Smoke weed every day. Every day. <laughs> Which, in fairness, might not be that far from the truth. But then, then there's Nick Diaz. He also had a strong reaction to Tyron Woodley's win. Happened. I missed the whole fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never had an easy fight in my life. Fight that kid. I wouldn't take one, I would take, it's like, stop making bullshit fights with this guy. Nick, man, I just, I mean, I guess I understand how you end up recording that reaction in the first place. Where you lose me is the part where you look at it afterwards and go like, oh yeah, I should definitely post this. You know what's really crazy though is hearing Jim Miller talk about his battle with Lyme him. disease <laughs> after his win at UFC 228. According to Jim Miller, he probably got Lyme disease like five years ago, didn't even realize it when a tick bit him. Then, in 2015, he had to stop all his strength and conditioning, couldn't even lift weights because his body was just so fatigued from the disease. Also, Jim Miller fought three times in 2015. So, I guess just think about that when you're gonna call in sick to work because you were up late binge watching The Americans. Whoa, what's this? Dispatch from the world of non-fighting sports. Always fun to check in on those, see what's going on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, it says here, Serena Williams lost the U.S. Open final after getting penalized for yelling at the chair umpire. That's it? She just, she just yelled at him? Didn't shove him or give him the old Roy Nelson butt kick? Just, come on, you guys. You think Herb Dean would let himself get flustered by something like that? He would not. Herb Dean would not get flustered. 